During my time at animation school, I picked up Maya 3D, not by choice, but since it was required. And as someone interested in concept art and illustration, I absolutely hated using the program. It was slow, clunky to use, and crashed far too often. Mind you, this was around mid-2014, so about 11 years ago, and the Maya version we had in class was a bit older. We were still using Photoshop to texture our models back then, so that should give you an idea. Maya was so slow to start up that we could go for a quick coffee break and be back and it would still be initiating. Those were the days. At that time, modeling in Maya was boring. The idea of pushing and pulling birds for hours was mind-numbing, I'll admit. However, I've actually grown to enjoy it. Now I find it kind of relaxing but at the time, it was excruciating. ZBrush was a whole other story. I actually fell in love with 3D as a medium thanks to it. But that's a story for another time. I used Maya for all sorts of things over the years, but I used it mainly to create a 3D base to paint or photo bash on top of. It gave me a shortcut where perspective was concerned. If you've ever plotted a perspective grid by hand, and constructed all the forms the old school way, you'll know just how time consuming it was. During this period, it was not a prerequisite for 2D artists to know how to use 3D, but today it absolutely is. Anyway, fast forward to the fall of 2018, I came across a post on Insta by Jama Jurabayev, and what I saw was stunning. He was working his magic in Blender, Seeing this, I decided to take the leap and start messing around with the program. Now, this was not my first time learning Blender. I did try learning the program almost a year prior, and it was so difficult to get into. Mind you, by this time, I had multiple 3D packages under my belt. But for whatever reason, Blender would succeed in tripping me up. It just didn't feel intuitive, so I gave up. But when I saw the work Jama was pumping out, I was so determined to learn the program. And lucky for me, version 2.8 was just out and was much more user-friendly compared to its predecessor. Even though I had a decent foundation in 3D, it took me more than a month to get comfortable with the program. But it was totally worth it and was time for me to finally say goodbye to Maya. I mean, why wouldn't I? Yeah, sure, it's free and all, but Blender had so much to offer. It was great for hard surface design as it handled booleans really well. Maya, on the other hand, really didn't like booleans at the time. I don't know how it fares these days as I haven't really bothered to keep abreast with the development. Blender's modifier tab in general was really useful in speeding up my modeling process. The introduction of Eevee was another good reason to make the switch. Being able to see a scene in real time was a game changer for me and my workflow started getting more 3D heavy as well. There was also a ton of tutorials out there on YouTube to troubleshoot just about any problems you might run into. On top of this, there are plenty of useful community developed add-ons that make life so much easier. Right about now, someone's probably furiously typing about how Maya has a lot of features built in by default that Blender needs several add-ons just to keep up. And I agree. But Maya feels archaic, while Blender is much more fun. There are also things that Blender just does better. It tolerates higher poly counts better than Maya does, so you don't really feel the slowdown or reduction in performance like you would with the latter. I don't have to sweat bullets every time I want to bring something in from ZBrush. Something else that's really cool about Blender is the breakneck speed at which development is taking place. There's always something new and exciting to look forward to. There is constant improvements being made to things like with sculpting, grease pencils, geonodes and more. To me, Blender feels like a nice little 3D Swiss knife that gets most of what I need done. Again, I'd like to reiterate that Blender is not better than Maya, it's just better for me.